Moving tips and tricks. Should I hire professional movers? In this video, I'm going to share with you five questions you need to ask yourself before hiring professional movers. I've learned a bit about moving from both personal moves, family moves, customer moves, and one of the challenging questions that we get and customers wrestle with is, should I hire professional movers or try to save money and do the packing and moving myself? Moving is not something many would say that they enjoy, and moving in and of itself can be quite stressful. And we all know that. So hiring a mover can help relieve some of the pressure, but even working with professional movers can be stressful. They don't always show up. Imagine that. <laughs> or things turn up missing. Oh, my Lord. And then there's the cost of moving, which can be very expensive. I am Dr. Ron Repesey, your real estate advisor and your real estate doctor with William Ravis Real Estate here in sunny Naples, Florida. And if this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. And if you have joined me before, then welcome back. And thank you for watching. And of course, thank you for spending time with me. So let's jump in and say, moving is tough and not many people find it much fun. There are short moves, there are long distance moves, and some are moving from one state to another or even internationally as my own sister has done. If you have moved before, then you probably learned a few things and learn from the mistakes that you have made. But if you have never moved before, then I hope that you find this video helpful. One of the common questions that we hear in the world of buying and selling real estate is, should we hire professional movers? Well, let's dissect this question as there is not a one size fits all answer, as there can be many variables. The decision as to whether you want to tackle the packing and moving yourself or hire it out is many times as personal as the material things you are having to move themselves. And so these five questions are designed to help you in your decision. So let's move on. Number one, how much time do you have? This is a biggie as you need to consider two things. And that is how much time do you have to vacate your current residence? And the second is what is the timing needed to occupy the new property? The answer to this is critical, especially since you will need to have all your things out of the current house and it will have to be quote unquote broom clean by the time you get to closing. At the same time, you'll arrive and have your things to arrive obviously at your new house when you're able to move in so that you can unpack and of course get settled. So keep in mind that professional movers are fast and for you and I that don't move furniture, and pack things up for a living, we may take a lot more time to get this job done. Think about how you would move the furniture and larger items if you have to say, move from a second floor or you live on a second floor or higher, then this will be a huge task and may require the help of a professional mover. The one thing to consider regarding timing is to think about when you may be starting your new job, if there is a career move or if you have children, are they going to be needing to start up at a new school, et cetera? And if so, then hiring a professional mover may help you stay on track as to timing. Additionally, you may not need the help of a professional mover on both sides of your move, meaning maybe you need help packing and moving to get out of your current home on time, but on the back side, you wish to do the unpacking at your new residence yourself. And if that's the case, you can save some money and for sure do that. Many of my customers have enjoyed the convenience and expertise of hiring out the packing upside. And if time isn't an issue, prefer to unpack at their own pace and not feel rushed as to where things are going to go and being placed within the new home. Number two, do you have the means or ability to do the move yourself? Using a professional mover or using the help of a professional mover eliminates the guesswork when it comes to moving, such as blankets, boxes, tape, dollies, hand trucks, ratchet straps, and so many more needed tools and tricks to get the job done properly. Plus, they have the manpower, too. This is not to say that you cannot move yourself, but you do need to make sure that you have the resources that you will need to get the job done. Keep in mind that in the moving process, things can get damaged like furniture and he heavier items are more likely to be a challenge. 
And if you intend to do the move yourself, be aware of this. You will need to decide if you are renting or borrowing a moving truck and where you are getting the needed supplies. Like I mentioned, boxes, etc. Are you buying boxes? Are you finding free ones that get tossed out and that may work for you? Do you have friends, family, or other people that will be able to help you? Are you going to need to store anything if there is a time delay to get into your new home? How many trips will you have to make? And are you sure you can get done on time? As you can see, there are things you may not have thought about, my folks. Obviously, if you can, if you can do the packing and moving yourself, then you'll most likely save yourself money. Number three, how far are you going? This is a biggie. Are you moving across the street or to another state or continent? If you have to go a long distance, then you may truly need to consider getting the help of, of a professional mover. If you are moving across borders, then there are moving companies that specialize in cross-border moves and can help you handle all that you will need to be taken care of when it comes to customs as well. On the flip side, if you're moving, if you're moving nearby, then you may be able to do the move yourself with the help of a family member or friends. Keep in mind the cost of moving as it will still cost you money even if you do the move yourself. The cost will clearly increase the further you are moving from your current location. Keep in mind that if you move a very long distance, you may have to stay at a hotel overnight. And so if that were the case, you need to consider if you need to protect any certain items or valuables or whatnot. Number four, what do you need the most help with? This is an important question to ask as moving does not have to be an all or nothing thing. You may be able to move clothing and lighter items on your own and leave the heavy lifting to the professionals to take care of. Keep in mind that lifting and moving heavier items can come with another cost, and that is your health. And since I'm a chiropractor, I can attest to that. I can tell you how many people have come in my office over the years and we'll move into this, what I'm going to mention. Since you do not do this all the time for a living, the chances of injuring yourself are much higher. And nobody wants to tell the story or hear your story of how you hurt your back while you were moving. <laughs> Think about your upcoming move and what you are most stressed about and what items you think could be a problem or challenge for you if you were to try to move those items on your own. Identify these pain points, no pun intended, and get quotes to hire out that part of the move. Since moving can be very expensive, there are things to think about. You may be able to move some of the items on your own and other parts like packing, you could hire out and cut down on the cost. Number five, how much is your time worth? Remember, your time is valuable. And so you'll want to get multiple quotes from movers and look at their ratings and get recommendations so that you can make an intelligent decision. Once you have these figures, you need to calculate the cost of your own time and consider how long you truly think it will take you. Did I say, how long will it truly take you? Don't kid yourself, be rational. Remember the professional movers do this every day and all the time, and you are not gonna be able to do the move as quickly as they will be able to. They will be faster than you. Consider how much working time you may miss and how much time you'll have to take to do the move and what your time is worth on an hourly basis as you do these calculations. If you think it may take you 40 hours and you usually get paid $50 per hour, then that is $2,000. Is the mover charging more or less than that? Do not forget to factor in any costs for supplies or a truck rental you may need, etc. As you dive into this, you may find that to pay a mover may not be as unreasonable as you may have thought, and maybe you can pick up a few extra hours at work to help with the cost as an idea. This will allow you to do what you do best and allow the movers and the pros to handle what they do best and leave it to the pros. If you do find that it would be best or better for you to do the move on your own, then you will be able to use the help of friends and family members. Then don't forget, if you do use friends and family members, don't forget the pizza, the wings, and pasta, everybody, as a thank you. So are we learning anything today? Are we learning or are we leaning toward hiring professionals 
or are we leaning toward doing it yourself? Let me know in the comments below, as I would love to hear whether you're planning to do it yourself or you're planning to hire the pros. There are many things to consider, and many things tend to be misunderstood when it comes to buying or selling real estate. And so feel free to reach out to me anytime, as I am always happy to help in your real estate journey. Thank you for watching your Real Estate Doctor channel. Please like. Please like and subscribe to my channel as I most appreciate that. You may enjoy some of my other videos, which I will attach at the end of this video. And I'll also attach in the description below to moving to Florida, your relocation checklist. Again, moving to Florida, your relocation checklist. Feel free to comment below. You can reach me at 239-331-5886. That is 239 331 5886. I am Dr. Ron Repesey with William Ravis Real Estate. Blessings to you, wishing you peace, health, and happiness. And we catch you next time. Ba boom.